So doc label is this tool right here. And uh, by default, what it does is simply pulls out a, uh, some text and um, uh, date, but there's a lot more that it does. I'm gonna double click the tool to bring up the preferences. You can set the appearance, uh, color, font, size. Let's go ahead and change the size a little bit. You can add a border. So let me go ahead and change that and you'll see the difference in appearance. Of course, it can show the date and time. Uh, there are a lot of different formats you can use, all of the various European and American formats available. Um, let's just choose this one right here for the date and choose something for the time. Here's, this one's good with the seconds and everything. All of the different formats you would need are in here. So I'll click that and drag down this, and now you'll see a much more detailed label. In addition to that information, however, we have, um, I'll take out the custom text, we have document attributes that update with changes to your document. So for instance, I could put a label that has the file name, the size, and uh, maybe the document color mode. So let me pull that label out, and you'll see this is the name, doclabelexample.ai, and this is the size and uh, what the color mode of the file is. And uh, the, this is live information, so it will change as I add art objects and if I change the file name or location. In addition, we can display information such as the, the number of artboards, layers, groups, and art objects. These are all pretty neat to let you see really detailed information about your art. So right now you'll see that there is one artboard, three layers, 99 groups, and a bunch of art objects. Let me go ahead and delete these. You'll notice those weren't counted only the actual art objects. But if I go ahead and add new art, watch this, 334 art objects, as soon as I draw something new, it changes to 335. Draw something more, now it's 336. And of course, as I group these two together, you will see that now there are 100 groups. So all of that information is live and always updated whenever you change anything on your document.